My name is Jared James. If you aren't familiar with me, I'm best known as an entrepreneur that gets the unique opportunity to coach and train agents and brokers in the real estate world and speak at conferences in front of thousands of people. But it wasn't always that way for me. What separates me from so many others is that I've actually done everything that I want you to be able to do. For that reason, this is the place to come if you want to learn the strategies needed to succeed in today's marketplace. This is the Jared James Today Show. Hey guys, welcome to episode 14 of the Jared James Today Show. It's been a little bit since I've shot this just because I've been going all over the place. Uh, we just got back from our advance last week, which was amazing. Uh, to the 700 plus of you that registered to be there and such, it was amazing. Thank you so much, super cool. Um, but it's time to start shooting some videos now, okay? As I always say when I start out here, guys, make sure you do a couple things. Number one, go to connectwithjared.com. Connect with me on all the platforms. I do different things on Snapchat and Instagram and YouTube, obviously. Subscribe here, Facebook uh, fan page, Facebook personal pro uh, profile, Twitter, all these different places. Make sure if you're watching this and you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure if you don't like it, just act like you weren't here. Uh, leave a nice comment where you're coming in from. Um, but what I want to talk to you about today is something that I, I think is one of the most important videos that I've made for you. Um, and it's about what's going on in 2017 and, and the recent stats that have come out that really prove what I've been saying for the past five years. So if you watch me at all, you know that I've been talking about for years now, creating that predictable business, predictable business. And it's not that I've been anti-referral because I love referrals. We teach so many of our students to get referrals. We want referrals. But the stats are now coming out and they're backing up exactly what I've been saying for years. It's now actually happening. It's not coming, it's happening. And so I think they're going to put up some kind of a graph or something over here that's going to show you on one of these sides. I'm not really sure to be honest. Um, but what we found out recently was something that wasn't shocking, which is that NAR said that 92% of all buyers and sellers are now uh, starting their, their searches, starting their home, whatever it is, online, 92%. That's a pretty big percentage. I'd like to know who those 8% are. That's what I always think. I'm like, who are these 8%? Like, are they still riding in horse and buggies? They're still hearing about this intranet. They, you know, they're you know, getting caught off by their page that comes in. Like, I just don't understand who these 8% are. But either way, doesn't matter. More importantly was the stats that just came out from Real Trends. And Real Trends just came out and said that in 2016, 70% of all buyers found their agent online. 75% of sellers selected their agent from the internet. That is a cosmic shift because forever, Five years ago when I was teaching business growth and I, when I was teaching transactions and I was teaching these things, five years ago, 69% of all the business that realtors did was referral. Today, after you eliminate that 70% of all buyers finding their person online, that 75% of all sellers finding their person online, it's less than 15%. Now, a lot of you are listening to that right now and you're like, what? How can this, what? And you want to argue, these are stats. Like, these aren't like my opinion. These aren't, this is really what separates us from so many other programs that are out there is that I don't go off of what I want, what I hope, what I, I don't get romantic about that stuff. All that matter is what is going on right now. I don't have a set thing that we teach in our coaching, just referrals, just prospecting, just, it's whatever's working now. And when I look at what's going on right now, that is a huge shift for so many of you. I talked about this at our advance and this guy, this guy comes up to me and he goes, that can't be, that's not possible. He goes. Referrals are like 99% of my business. There's no way they're less than 15% now. And I said, we'll just call him Bob, okay? Just for the sake of whatever, but you know who you are. And I said, <laughs> I said, Bob, that's why you're number 14 in your office. Because you're just working referrals, okay? Now, I don't want you to go away from referrals. I want you to keep getting more referrals. As I said, we teach people how to get referrals. But the problem is when you're putting 100% of your effort into something that is now a less than 15% of the market. That is crazy. And yet, look at this, guys. I've said forever that we used to be an industry where it was enough to get in front of people when they were ready to buy and sell. That's what we call the referral world. You guys have heard this. And I say now we're a world where you have to get in front of people where, when they're ready to learn because now they're on a three to 18 month process, okay? And that all sounded good and a lot of you were like, that's great and you gave me thumbs up and you maybe even joined our coaching because you're like, I wanna go there. But you never really believed it. Your actions in many cases didn't change too often and now you're being forced to because what's happening is that you're still doing the same amount of work, you're putting in the same amount of hustle for a much lesser result. I want you to get practical with me for a second so you really understand what's happening right now because I understand this is weird for a lot of you. This is like, uh, I don't want this to happen. Whether you want it to happen or not doesn't matter. 
you know, I was doing an event recently, and I woke up and I looked at the uh, the news, and it was talking about these. Um, these mudslides that were happening in California and they were killing people and I didn't like it. I didn't want it to happen, but it didn't change the fact that it was already happening and in most cases it already happened. So our opinion or what we want doesn't matter. All that matters is what is actually happening, what consumers are actually doing. And in too many cases, and I want you to remember this point, in too many cases we are acting as marketers differently than we are behaving as consumers. Think about that for a second. We are acting as marketers differently than we are behaving as consumers. And so we're spending more than half our time on Facebook, but then we're not actually on a regular basis becoming an expert and really putting our marketing towards that platform. Yeah, one time you boosted an open house, maybe you did it incorrect, it didn't work, great, let's just go back to referrals. And we run this hope marketing thing where it's like, how do you create business? It's like, come on, ring. Ring. We just look at our phones and hope to God they ring. We are in a different age now. How does this apply to you practically? You know, it used to be, and this is what I meant when I said you had to get in front of people when they're ready to buy and sell, now you have to get in front of people when they're ready to learn. Because it used to be an industry where the moment someone was ready to sell, the moment somebody was ready to buy, they'd go talk to somebody and they'd go, yeah, you know, we're thinking of selling, or we went to an open house this week, or whatever it happens to be. And that person would be like, awesome, do you have an agent? Use my agent, Jared. And they'd go, oh, cool, okay, great, that's how it worked. And they'd go and they'd use Jared and they'd list tomorrow or next week and everything was peachy keen. It was like, this is awesome, like this is how it should be, right? It was book of business and it was today's world before they ever even decide that they're gonna do something like that, that they're you know, gonna announce it to the world. The moment they even start thinking about moving or about buying or about selling or about whatever it happens to be, before they ever tell anyone around them, they jump on their computer, they jump on their phone at 12 o'clock at night, they start looking at the properties, they start filling out forms for valuation, what's my home worth, before they ever mention it to anyone. And by the time they finally get to the point that they're able to make an announcement to their family, their friends, these people, they're six months down the road and then they go and they do that exact same scenario and they go, yeah, we went to an open house or yeah, we were looking at what our home's worth or yeah, or whatever. And now their friend is going, oh, use my agent, Jared. And now that very same person is going, oh, I, I've been talking to Nancy for four months who they reached out to and got a hold of them and has been educating them for the past four months on the process, what's going on. And by the time they got to the point of referral, they've already been committed to have contacts with somebody and working with somebody that they had never heard of four months prior. And that's the difference when I say we used to be an industry uh, that you could get in front of people when they're ready to buy and sell, and now we're an industry we have to get in front of people when they're ready to learn, is we have to get in before they announce to the world because it's a much longer process now. They have much more stuff available to them. Now, if you're watching this right now and you're like, yeah, okay, you know, whatever, you know, I still run a referral based, it's all, I want you to keep getting referrals, but I want the other streams. And you're going, well, I just need that and that's how I do it. It's the way it's always been. Go ask Blockbuster how that worked out. Go ask, Block, go ask Blockbuster how it worked that people would go into the store, rent the movie, bring it back on time, pay a $2 late fee, and they, were just, they thought that that was how it was always going to be. Did people stop buying videos? Did people stop renting videos? No. How they did it changed. Okay? Consumer behavior changed. That's all that happened. In our industry, yeah, have people always done it a certain way? Have they always gone by referrals? Have they always gone? Absolutely. But these are stats. These aren't like my opinion. This is what's happening. Consumer behavior is changing. And if you as a marketer don't change your behavior, you're going to go the way, of, the way of Blockbuster. Okay? Blockbuster should have started Netflix. Like, they had the market share. They had the money. They had... You should be the one adjusting now before someone else comes in who's not even in the business now and just takes over your market share because you're not operating in the way that consumers are actually behaving. Okay, that's why I said this is one of the most important videos I've shot for you because it's going to be the difference between you succeeding on such a high level going forward or just kind of slowly, okay? Borders books. How'd they do? Did people stop buying books? Did people... Absolutely, people buy books at record numbers, but they changed the way that they're buying them. 
And so people are still using realtors. I told you consecutively over the last five years, every year it's gone up. People have not, they don't change the fact that they're still using a real estate person, but how they go about finding that real estate person, how they go about searching, how they go about doing all those things has 100% changed, not changing, has changed. And I am doing you a disservice, guys. We have thousands of people in our programs. We have a lot of people who listen to me. We have people who kind of hang on what I say. They do what I tell them to do. I'm doing you a disservice. If I'm a coach in this industry, a trainer in this industry, I have any kind of voice, any kind of megaphone at all, I am doing a disservice to you, the community, by telling you to narrow in on one thing over the other, over the other, over the other, because I've been teaching it for 20 years. I have a responsibility to you to say, yes, that is one line in the water, that is one stream. But let's look at the fact that now the internet is powerful and how people are filling out forms and how, do you know how so many of you right now watching me, why it is that you're watching me and how it is that you're watching me? Because exactly what I'm teaching you to do is exactly what I did to you. Think about that for a second. I feel like some kind of a mob movie, like I did this to you. You found me in many cases because a day prior you had never heard of me before and I did some kind of promotion or some kind of something on my content, on my videos, on my something that pulled you in, you liked it, you started watching all my videos, you became a follower, you became a student, you became a, and the point is the day before you had never heard of me and then that day you were forced to make a decision about me. Okay, That right there is the story of what is going to make a realtor successful going forward. It's going to be the number of people that yesterday had never heard of you and today are forced to make a decision about you because of your ability to understand how consumers are behaving today and understand how to get your content in front of them on a regular basis so they're forced to say yes or no rather than have no opinion at all which is where most of you live within that referral based world okay so let's say it again I want you to continue to get referrals I'm going to continue to teach our students how to get referrals but I'm also going to show you how to go out go after the other 85 percent of the business that's out there right now okay and if you're watching this and you're older you're a veteran you've been doing this a long time you've got a good business but you know you could be doing more or whatever your situation has to be. I want you to understand that right now you may not understand how to do this. You may not understand how promoted posts and Facebook posts and landing pages and all these things work, but you owe it to your clients. If you're going to continue to look them in the eye and say, I'm the best option for you, you owe it to your clients to learn how it works in a 2017 world because it's really not that difficult. That's the crazy thing. It's not that difficult. It's just repetition, repetition, repetition. It's no different than when you said, I'll never have an iPhone. I don't need that iPhone, oh I don't need it, it's stupid, it's this. And then your grandkids got an iPhone or got an iPod and started doing FaceTime and you're like, okay, I'll learn it. Because you wanted to do FaceTime, now it mattered to you. I'm telling you that in order to be the best option going forward for your clients, you owe it to yourself to go and learn what you need to learn. We have on our YouTube channel here, I have trainings I've done, webinars I've done. I've got a 90 minute training just on how to promote yourself on Facebook and create leads and you know boost things and what to do and what not to do. You owe it to yourself to go spend the 60, 90 minutes, learn that up and down, and then you owe it to yourself to go screw up. Okay, and here's what I mean by that. You can either hire a company like ours to create the leads for you and do it for you because you know this world is important, or you can learn it yourself and go try it and just go screw up. Just go create an ad and watch it fail and learn what you need to change. Boost a post and go, I need to adjust this. That picture didn't work. But put yourself in a situation to screw up over and over and over again until you get it right. Because otherwise what's going to happen is, is that you're going to keep working extremely hard and not get the result you used to get. If I could see you right now, I'd say, why is it that so many people in our industry work the same amount of hours? Think about this. They work the same amount of hours, 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours a day and have completely different results. Why is it somebody in your area can work the same amount of hours as you and make double the revenue? Why is it somebody in your area or some other area can work the same amount of hours as you and make half the revenue? Why is that? Obviously, not all time block is equal. Not all energy given is equal. Okay? And so one of the things that we really do from a coaching perspective is that we look at you as an entrepreneur and we go, yeah, everybody's not the same. Everybody's not you're an entrepreneur. We need to figure out how to leverage you in your area and find the lane that's going to work for you and put the right systems and processes in place and get your finances in order and all of that kind of stuff. But for me, this video for you is a wake-up call to kind of say, hey, it's 2017 
and I'm not going to be Blockbuster. I'm not going to be, even if you're not even afraid, some of you have such a built book of business, you'd never be Blockbuster, but you need to stop working so hard to get a smaller result. You could work less and be getting more if you just understood how today's system works, how today's world works. And most of those people who are going online and filling out a form and then coming to you through the form, understand these aren't internet leads. These aren't, they're just people. They're the same people that six years ago were being referred to you. They're the same people that 10 years ago were coming through an open house. They're the same people, they're just people operating in today's marketplace. They're coming through you, they're coming to you through a different manner, but they're just people. They're no different. They didn't change. They don't breathe differently. They don't have three arms. They don't, so stop labeling them as something they're just people operating in a 2017 world that, by the way, would rather probably operate with someone who has experience and knows what they're doing and because they have no idea who's on the other end of that form. They have no idea who's on the other end of that save search they're doing. They have no idea. Shouldn't you be the option? Or are you going to get romantic about the idea that that's not the way I've done it? I don't understand that right now. I don't. The ball's in your court. You've got to decide which one it's going to be, okay? Very important video. Maybe you need to watch this a few times. Maybe you need to send this to your office. Maybe you need to send this to your whole network. Maybe you need to send this. It's an important video. The videos I'm going to do from here, uh, the next few, are going to be about different strategies and such to make yourself an option, to get in front of people, to take people who didn't know you yesterday that today have to make a decision about you, so make sure you're looking out for that. Make sure you subscribe on here. Make sure you give that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Share it with somebody that needs it. As always, connectwithjared.com, guys. I can't wait to see the feedback from you, but please pay attention to what I'm trying to teach you here because I genuinely care about where you're going and I don't want you wasting your time. Talk to you guys soon. Hey there you, and I am talking to you in particular, person that made it to the end of my video. It means the world to me. But if you made it to the end, I'm hoping that you'll take a second and subscribe right here. Make sure you share that with all your friends, by the way, they're in real estate, sales, entrepreneurial, whatever it happens to be. By the way, if you're looking for a speaker for your upcoming event, click right here to get some more information. And as usual, if you have a question you want me to personally respond, just connect on social. You can click right over here and see all the platforms I'm on. I hope to hear from you soon. Have a great one.